Alright guys, how are you doing? Thanks for tuning in to another video, and this time we are talking about the Warlock, which in my opinion is almost exactly identical to a Wizard or Enchantress. They are both able to use practically any elemental spell in the game, Divine, Dark, all of those. You just want to match it with the element of the character, so my Warlock is Lightning, so he's using Lightning Magic. They can also use the majority of debuffs in the Dark area, as well for spells so just like the wizard they are capable of that they also have the same weapon proficiencies except warlocks get spell books warlocks also get control golem gordian key which unlocks gordian locks which that'll be something to talk about later and we get golem's bane and empower golem other than that pretty much everything else on the skills is the same as the wizard I personally think a Warlock is a slightly better wizard, that's just my opinion, but once you get a Warlock and you start getting the different Golems, Warlocks are super awesome. I think a Warlock teamed up with Golems is better than a Beastmaster teamed up with Beasts, but that's just a preference because I think a lot of the Golems with all the different varieties, they work really well together. You could have like two Warlocks, maybe three, and then just like a bunch of Golems in a team. But the same could be said with two or three beast masters, and you can have some cockatrice, you can have some dragons, you can have some griffins, you know what I'm saying. So, the best thing I think about the warlock is they can use spell books. Now, I haven't leveled this up to 10. Spellbook finishers, from what I recall, and what I've seen in the game so far, are pretty decent. Um, they do have some variety to them. Now, here's something interesting. When you do get the spell books, Mind you, I got these from drops. I was not able to buy these spell books. They were found in battle. So I don't know when you can buy spell books. I'm in chapter four right now. I'd imagine at some point you can buy spell books. Maybe you can't. I don't know. So I'm not the one to ask for that. But I am the one to tell you that spell books give you a plus three range. And a plus three range on magic or spells is super good. So the only classes that can use spell books too, as you can see, of the classes that I have discovered in the game so far are the special wizard in the beginning of the game which i forget what he's called what his class is warlock and the fairy so just remember that but yeah plus three range right there and it does give you a significant mp increase really good int buff mind res does give you the rt and the weight but hey who cares and here's something curious maybe you guys can answer it for me too because, like I said, I'm no means, like, the uh, master of Tactics Ogre. I am by no means the guy that knows everything. I'm learning just as much as you guys are. Because, honestly, this game is so different than the PSP version. Things I knew in the PSP version don't really matter. And, you know, it's been, what, a few weeks now. And there's still a lot of stuff people don't know. Answer me this, anybody in the comments down below. If I equip two spellbooks that both have plus three range, is that plus six range? Is it? I don't know. I do know, though, that equipping two of these gives me a lot more stats than my mage staff I had, as you can see right here. I, you know, I get an extra five mine, three, three, five mine, three int, six res. And the mage staff only gives me plus one. So, for range. I don't care about strength or avoidance, you know? So I figured, why not? Worst case, it's not working, <laughs> you know? So let me know, guys. Let me know if I'm if I'm crazy or if you guys have experimented. I haven't really tried enough experiments yet. To be honest, I've slowed down of Tactics Ogre, and I'm, I'm a sinner. I've been playing the new Pokemon game. So in case you're wondering, uh, it's, it's slowed down my Tactics Ogre progress, or I would be doing a lot further, but Pokemon has slowed me down. Um, Where was I? Yes, the Warlock. Great, great, great guy. Um, there's not much to say. I mean, it plays like a wizard... You know, these tips and tricks videos, as much as I want them to be tips and tricks, sometimes they are. They have some little tips in them that people don't know. Other times, it's just a general overview of the class and what it's capable of. You know, I can't... Unfortunately, not every class has little secrets behind it or really cool skills that people don't utilize, you know? So. But I think the Warlock is a great replacement for a wizard if you have one. Personally, I need to use my Warlock more. I need to get some more Golem Boys and utilize his power to its full extent i think he's a solid class though like i said you run golems he's almost a must just like if you run beasts why wouldn't you run a beast tamer so there's that going for him but overall he's very similar to a wizard and enchantress there's nothing much more to say i've repeated this like three times i think he's great 
I think you should use them. Definitely, if you do get access to Paradigm Shift and Torpor, use those. Uh, Torpor is a slow, and Paradigm Shifts reduces uh, RT to zero for units, multiple units in a target area of your team if you would, you know, you'd want to do that. So he has really good access to uh, slows and haste. Now the wizard can use these as well. They are not exclusive, as you can see. There you go. There's everybody that can use it. So you do get access to pretty much all the spells in the game with the warlock. Pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Same thing with the wizard. I'm going to keep saying this, but, you know. I think he's good. I think you should use him. And I think spell books are amazing. And that's probably the number one reason I'd use him over a wizard or an enchantress, too. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like warlocks? Do you not use them? Do you think spell books are cool? Are spell books a waste of time? I don't know. You tell me. I would love to share information. That's kind of what these videos are about too. Helping new players, other people get ideas for the game. We all kind of give our opinions on stuff and, you know, discuss things. Like, that's fun. It's fun talking about stuff we enjoy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.